What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm on Toxin Gaming today. People today we're going to be going over the Cyber Dragon Can We Build a Deck? This is going to be the Forbidden Cyber Style Technique deck and uh, I don't think it's bad. I think that the deck is actually really interesting and if you've played TCG you know that uh, Network, which is this card right here, actually isn't that bad of a card. Um, and uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go over what this deck does, what I think it can do, uh, how, like, how strong I think it can be, and uh, yeah. We'll just go from there. The skill that we're using is Forbidden Cyber Style Technique. And this skill, at first glance, seems really, really bad. And I understand why. You have to be at 1,500 or less life points to use it. You drop yourself down to 50 life points. Um, you uh, do get to summon three machine cyber monsters from your deck. Uh, from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Not just from your deck. Um, and it's up to three. So you can just summon one if you want. And uh, they all become Cyber Dragon with Cyber Dragon stats and everything. But they can't attack. Uh, for the rest of this turn, you can't summon or set. Um, except you can fusion summon. And you can't attack unless it's with a fusion monster. And then at your end phase, you destroy any monster summoned by this skill. So there's so much downside to this that like at first glance, it's like this seems really bad. But whenever you pair it with specific cards in this format, such as like Network and Fusion Gate, you're like looking at a very interesting deck that uh, puts out really powerful fusion monsters. Um, so without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. We're on the Triple Cyber Dragon, which is at 3 in the January ban list. Um, this card is the bread and butter of the deck. It's your main card for the deck. And honestly, I, I wish I would have went over this deck before this guy got hit this three because I feel like this deck could have been so much stronger. Um, uh, Proto Cyber Dragon is also chilling in here as you're an additional copy. We're going to be playing th uh, six copies of Cyber Dragon in this deck. And it's just generally just so you have uh, the Cyber Dragon when you need it. Three copies of Cyber Valley. It's your additional cyber name in your deck. Uh, that's a machine monster that does something. It actually puts up like a wall at times or in certain circumstances can get you a draw two to get into your uh, combo pieces such as Fusion Gate or Double Cyclone. So that's really nice to have in itself. Uh, it also has this other last like ability people don't use enough of, I don't think, that says you can target a card in your graveyard and banish both this and that one card from your hand, then place that target to the top of your deck. So you can actually like rotate cards that are unable like say zoma for example you want to get your zoma back you can actually just uh cyber valley put a card from your banish a card from your hand and then uh put this to the top of your deck and that's actually not that bad of a play cyber phoenix here is in the deck because of book of moon being in the format and any other trap that really targets this deck this card kind of just like uh protects your machine monsters in a spell proof armor type way and then when it's destroyed battle and sent to the graveyard you actually get to draw a card so it has the same type of consistency as your cyber valley which is that it replaces yourself um, or, or replaces itself in your hand. Network is, in my opinion, the main card of your deck. I think this card is incredibly powerful. So it has this ability that says you destroy it during your third standby phase after your third standby phase after activation, which is like not like it sounds like it's bad. It is right. It takes three turns to set this part up, um, but. It says once per turn, if you're if a Cyber Dragon is on the field, you can banish a Light Machine monster from your uh, deck. So that's kind of cool. You get to banish any of these cards from your deck. Usually, it's going to be your other Cyber name. But the real thing is, is that um, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, special summon as many of your banished Light Machine monsters as possible. And if you do, destroy all and spell and trap cards you control. Monsters that were special summoned by this effect cannot activate their effects, and you cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this effect. So. Once this leaves the field, you get to essentially Union Scramble your Light Machine Monsters from your uh, Banish card zone, which is incredibly powerful. And when you pair it with cards like Double Cyclone here, it's just able to completely uh, Special Summon all your monsters from the deck. The other thing this card pairs really well with is going to be the Chimera Tech Overdragon, because when this card gets summoned, you actually get to destroy all your Spell and Trap cards on the field. And because this card was sent from your field to the graveyard, you're then able to use your materials that you ended up Fusion Gate away for your Chimera Tech Overdragon back to your field, essentially swarming your field with high heavy monsters. And if you did, say, uh, fusion or summon out, say, your Cyber End Dragon earlier in that game and use it for your material for the Chimera Tech Overdragon, the network gets blown up by Overdragon. Uh, network gets to summon back your Cyber End Dragon if you used it to, for as a fusion gate target. It's very powerful. Zoma's in here at one because of Zonda sucks. And then we have two double cyclones again for the, uh, 
cyber network and it comes up to get rid of the fusion gate in case you absolutely have to uh that does come up sometimes mine crushes in here because it's on the sucks and then two dust tornado and one straight flush for whenever you, you run into the volcanic matchup or any deck that plays any stall like cards such as the trap monster deck this deck in my opinion is a very high ceiling and it's very hard to master i think that there's a lot that you have to do a lot that you have to remember and i think that it can be good with the right pilot and with the right like you know person building the deck I, I definitely don't know if this is even the most optimal way to play it i'm playing three valley and two phoenix like i don't these cards i feel like can are good but at times don't do enough for the deck and there are other cyber machine monsters in the deck like or in the game like cyber uh darks and there's also like you know cards that aren't like proto cyber dragon that's just 1100 name it, it really just depends on what you're trying to do and who's like playing the deck uh, but if you have your own suggestions for the deck, definitely leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, what you can do to make it better, uh, what you think is bad about the deck. But uh, I do have a showcase for you guys. I did test this deck, and I think it's really cool. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into that. So we're actually going to be playing against Wetflex here, which if you don't know is a member of my team that I playtest with. Um, and uh, he's really cool. He shows up for some of the Toxic Judgment tournaments, but that's really the only online tournament you'll see him play in. Um, but we're opting to go first. Our only play here is just to go Cyber Valley, set the double cyclone, pass the turn off to the opponent. They draw for turn drawing into Kelbeck. They're actually playing the last episode, Can We Build a Deck, which is I thought was really nice for this. They're going to book the uh, Cyber Valley face down so we can't get the draw to, and they're going to Zolga into the uh, face down monster. We're going to draw for turn drawing into the Fusion Gate, so we're just going to go side right here, special summoning it, and battling it into the Zolga. This is going to make him drop all the way down to... Uh, 3600 life points, so he takes 400 damage. Drawing into the Banisher here, he's just going to rise here. This is going to bring back the Zolga, and he's going to gain his 1700 life points. I'm not entirely sure why he decided to do that here, but I'm not his dad. Goes ahead and sets the Kelpic face down, and I draw for turn drawing into the Cyber Network. This card is incredibly powerful. Uh, going to the battle phase, we're actually going to attack the Zolga again. That way, he can't tribute it next turn and gain 2,000 life points. They draw for turn drawing into the Extermination. Using the Extermination here, they're going to hit the uh, Double Cyclone, which, you know, it, it's not important to chain at all. So, on the end phase, we go and activate the Network. Go into our standby phase and network will then get one counter onto it because it's the standby. And then we're going to utilize its effect here to banish a cyber dragon from our uh, deck. We're going to battle into the face down card being the banisher of the radiance and then pass the turn off to the opponent who draws into the book of moon. They then set the banisher face down and then pass turn. We're going to double cycle in here hitting the face down card and then we're going to proc the uh, cyber network here being able to special summon the uh, cyber dragon from our uh, banish card zone. Drawing into the cyber phoenix here we're actually just going to straight go for the fusion gate and we're going to banish all of our materials and summon the cyber end dragon to the field and then normal summon the Kelbeck, the reason, or not the Kelbeck, the uh, Cyber Phoenix. The reason why we're going for the Cyber Phoenix here is just because we're scared of the Kelbeck. If we hit that Kelbeck that we know is in the deck, then we're going to end up bouncing all that resource we just used back to our extra deck, and that's not good for us. So we're using the Cyber Phoenix here to feel around the field and see where it's okay for us to attack. Uh, they draw for turn drawing into the Valhalla. They're going to flip the Kelbeck, which we were scared of to begin with. We have to remind them that that's not how Kelbeck works. Uh, Kelbeck is when it's attacked, not when it battles. So they're going to pass turn off here. We're going to draw for turn drawing into the Zoma. We're going to set the Zoma. And then, like I told him, uh, this is one of those things where if I didn't know what this was, I was going to attack for this and feel for the Kelbeck. So I'm going to pretend I don't know, and I'm going to take the damage here and put the Cyber Phoenix to hand. He's going to draw for turn, uh, drawing for the Dust Tornado and setting it face down. On the end phase, we're going to Zoma the Spirit, and then we are going to draw for turn drawing into the Cyber Network. They're going to hit the Zoma here, which is unfortunate for us because this was game for us, and we're going to summon the uh, Cyber Phoenix. Going to pass turn off here because this is not game, and the opponent's going to draw into their other Kelbeck. We're going to go ahead and draw again for turn, drawing into the Proto Cyber Dragon. We're going to activate the Cyber Network, and then we're going to Battle Phase Feeling for the Kelbeck, and then taking some damage here, and then returning the Cyber Phoenix to hand. The opponent's going to draw for turn, drawing into the Jinzo. We're going to draw for turn here, drawing into the Network, and then we're going to end the turn off here. They're again going to draw for turn, drawing into the Radiance, and then again passing turn back to us, which we draw into the Fusion Gate. We're going to again pass turn. They're going to go for Book of Moon here, set it face down, and we're going to draw again. We're going to use Network here. It's going to destroy itself, and we are going to get back both of our Cyber Dragons. At this point, we are going to... I don't know why I sent the... Uh, 
gate to the graveyard, but we are going to set one card face down, and we are going to pass the turn back off to the opponent. Um, the reason why we ended up passing the turn off to the opponent here was because we couldn't attack this turn due to Network's effect, uh, making it to where we don't get a battle phase that turn, which is unfortunate, but it happens. They're going to go ahead and tribute two and summon out the Guardian Angel Joanne, and Joanne's going to go ahead and clear the Cyber Dragon here. We're going to take some damage, and they're going to gain 2100 from that encounter. Passing turn back off to us, we're going to go ahead and uh, draw for turn, drawing to the Cyber Valley. We're going to use the Fusion gate here going ahead and we're going to banish six of our monsters and then special summon chimera tech over dragon his original attack and defense are going to be i think it's 4200 here and then uh we're going to go ahead and uh destroy all spell and trap cards on the field this is going to destroy our network and it's going to destroy our fusion gate network's effect is going to proc here and we're going to summon back the cyber end dragon and the cyber dragon so the reason why we uh, brought back the Cyber Dragon here and not the Valley, and I'm going to be completely honest, is because I forgot that I don't get my battle phase. So this should have been Valley here, but unfortunately I misplayed and brought back the uh, Cyber Dragon. But it's fine. We're going to go ahead and pass turn off to the opponent. They're going to uh, battle into the Cyber Dragon here, and then we are going to take some life points, and they're again going to gain the 21 due to our misplay. We're going to walk the uh, 4200 attack point monster into it, but that's going to get met with the Book of Moon. Keep in mind that this card keeps its stats because its original stats become that, and it's a question mark, question mark. So, yeah, there's that. And then we're going to attack for 4000 into the Joanne here, and they're going to take some life points, being the 1200. Drawing for turn, they're going to go ahead and set. They're going to use the Valhalla to special summon the uh, Banisher of the Radiance, and then they are going to summon the Dark Ruler Hades. We're going to go ahead and draw for turn, drawing it to the Proto Cyber Dragon. Go ahead and flipping our Chimera Tech over Dragon face up. And then we are going to uh, go ahead and battle phase into the monster. It's going to go ahead and uh, die. And then they're going to take 4,000 directly to the face, putting them all the way down to 1950. They're going to draw for turn, setting the Kalbeck face down. Uh, we're going to draw a uh, battle and then just hit into the Kalbeck. If it is a Kalbeck, oh well. If it's not, it just goes back. And then we are going to attack directly for the 4,000, being met by the Dust Tornado and ending that game going into uh, game two here this is like literally the second game I ever played with it so I got more of a feel of how this deck is supposed to interact with itself and it seems really good at this point so I go ahead and I set the double cyclone face down I set the network face down and I set the zoma I pass the turn off to the opponent who just goes ahead and sets the dust tornado and summons the banisher to the field they battle into us for 1600 total damage putting us to 2400 but on end phase we're going to summon the spirit to the field and put it to defense mode we're going to draw for turn drawing into the fusion gate we're going to go for the proto cyber dragon here and then we are going to activate the cyber network this is going to allow us to banish the Cyber Dragon. Uh, we are going to go into battle here, or switch our Zelda to attack mode, but it's going to get met with the Dust Tornado. We're going to chain the Double Cyclone here. This is going to send the network to the graveyard and target the Dust Tornado to destroy it, but in the end, the Zelda still gets destroyed by the Dust Tornado. Um, and then uh, end turn because we don't get our battle phase due to the skill, or due to the trap effect. They're going to draw, drawing into the book, set to Kelbic, set the book, battle phase in, we're going to take the 500 and we're going to lose our uh, proto cyber dragon. We're going to draw for turn, drawing into another fusion gate, we're going to walk into the banisher, it's going to get met with a book, and we're going to pass turn back to the opponent here who draws to the Joanne. We have 1600 defense, he asked us what our defense was, they're going to go ahead and foolish to the graveyard, the Zolga, uh, go ahead to rise back to Zolga. And then they're going to go ahead and tribute the Zolga and the Kelbeck for the Joanne. This is going to make them gain a total of 3,700 life points this turn. They're going to attack into the Cyber Dragon, gaining another 2,100 life points this turn, and then attacking directly on us for 1,600 this turn. All right, this is where our skill comes in handy. We're going to draw for turn. Look at all this fusion gate. I wonder what you what we're going to do this turn. We're going to go standby. We're going to go main one, and we're going to go forbidden cyber style technique and special summon all of our materials. We're going to bring back the Cyber Dragon from the graveyard, and then we are going to bring the Cyber Phoenix, and we are going to go for the other Cyber Phoenix. We're going to go ahead and fusion gate, banishing off all of our materials. And then we are going to go out and summon the Cyber End Dragon. Uh, we are paying 150 life points for the Forbidden Cyber Style Technique, by the way. Uh, entering the battlefield phase here, we're going to do Banisher of the Radiance. Um, and our opponent is going to take a total of 2,400 life points. 
passing turn back off to the opponent. They draw to the Book of Moon, but there's not much they can do here. So we go ahead and we go and summon the Cyber Valley. Entering into the battle phase here, we actually attack into the Joanne for the 4,000, but we're met with a Book of Moon. Passing the turn back to the opponent, they draw into the Banisher of the Radiant, summon the Banisher, and then use the Banisher to attack into the Cyber Valley. Valley's effect is going to get procced here. We're going to Banish it and draw a card. Drawing for turn, we're going to draw into the Proto Cyber Dragon, summon another Valley, flip the Cyber End Dragon, and battle into the Banisher of the Radiance. This is going to cause the opponent to lose another 2400 life points. They're going to draw for turn, drawing into the Kelbeck. They're going to set the Kelbeck, and then they are going to. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. They're going to battle into the Cyber Valley here, and then we're going to proc the uh, Cyber Valley again to draw one card to replace itself, drawing into another Cyber Valley. We draw for turn. We draw, uh, we draw into the Cyber Network. We go ahead and we summon the Valley here. We go for battle, and we battle into the Guardian Angel Joanne. They go ahead and they take another 1,200 life points, and we pass turn off to the opponent, who draws into the Dust Tornado. They're going to go ahead and Kelbeck here, flip it face up, and they're going to battle into the Cyber Valley. Valley's effect is going to proc again, we're going to banish, we're going to draw again. Drawing for turn, we draw into the Cyber Dragon. We're going to go double cyclone here, but it's just going to be a dust tornado, so they're going to hit the fusion gate. Uh, we are going to go and set the cyber network. Uh, Activate the fusion gate here. We're going to utilize the fusion gate. It's going to banish the cyber dragon, the cyber end dragon, and the uh, yeah, the Cyber End Dragon and the Cyber Dragon for the Chimera Tech Over Dragon. We're going to use the Over Dragon's effect, sending all of our Spell and Trap cards to the graveyard, proccing the network in our graveyard, and then special summoning back the Cyber End Dragon and the Cyber Dragon. Now, of course, these both are going to come to the field in defense mode because we don't want them summoning out or tribute summoning the monster their next turn and then killing us for game. Uh, they're going to draw for turn, drawing into the Kelbeck. They're going to switch Kelbeck to defense mode and set one card face down. And we are going to draw for turn, drawing into the Cyber Network. We're going to switch Over Dragon to attack mode, switch uh, Cyber Dragon to attack mode, and we are going to set the Cyber Network face down and attack into our opponent. We're going to use the Cyber Dragon here to clear the Kelbeck. This is going to balance the Cyber Dragon to hand. We're going to take the Cyber End Dragon here and meet the Kelbeck. This is going to do piercing due to our Cyber End Dragon's effect. We're turning it to the extra deck to the Kelbeck, and they're going to go ahead and take uh, life points all the way down to the 1600 being the 2200 damage and then we are going to do the exact 1600 damage directly to our opponent uh, all in all this was a very fun match thank you Alex aka wetflex for giving us a little bit of a test run with this deck it was a lot of fun testing with you and I do think that this deck has some sort of potential and should at least be talked about but yeah this is can we build it I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye bye